I also didn't drink until I was 21. That's how much of a rule follower I am. That's a real story. Let's step out of this one real quick and step over here. Um, uh, I really didn't drink until I was 21 because I knew that you'd have to get a fake ID and it felt so illegal to me. I was like, I can't, I can't do it. And so I was just waiting, but I was gonna turn 21 on a Monday. And that sucks. So I did what I do all the time when I'm having these types of situations. I call my mom. And I go, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go out by myself on the Monday. And she just goes, no, you're not. And I go, what do you mean? And she goes, because I'm getting your grandma on. We're coming. <laughs> so she picks up my 81-year-old grandma. <laughs> they drive from Missouri to Michigan to go to this biker dive bar that I love. <laughs> now, this dive bar was so sketchy that in one week, two different dudes OD'd on heroin. They both survived, but it's very intense. Bikers would regularly walk in with like armor on. It was crazy, and I used to do clean improv comedy out of that bar. <laughs> to put in perspective what that means, I used to play make pretend in front of felons. And so I'm going to this bar and I'm super stoked and I get there after my mom and my grandma get there and my mom's got nine shots laid out. And this is my first shot ever. Here's the thing, I start drinking and I'm going shot for shot with my grandma. <laughs> Who is drinking me under the table. Okay, now, she's cheating. She used to be an alcoholic, okay? So, like, <laughs> she was really bringing it back for this one. I could feel it. And at one point, we're eight or nine shots deep, and that's when my grandma goes, man, you know what I miss? Jaeger. <laughs> oh, so you've had it. Uh, I had not. You've never had Jaeger. Um, it's like rebranded thick paint thinner. <laughs> she gets me a double shot of that to take with her. And so I, I take my double shot, she takes hers, she downs it easy. And then I'm like, I can do this! And I pound it, and I am KO'd! <laughs> I am down for the count, I don't feel good at all. And to this day, I've still never drank Jaeger again. <laughs> and so now every time I look at a bottle of Jaeger, I think, oh. Grandma. <laughs> so I go to stand up, and if you've ever been drinking while you're sitting down, when you stand up, your body doesn't work the same as it used to. So I stand up, and my legs go, we don't work here no more. <laughs> and I unstand up. <laughs> I sit back down, and, and my mom then proceeds to help me up and walk me to the bathroom. Very sweet of her. Now, my grandma is still at the bar. <laughs> and a buddy of mine, whose nickname was Biz, to this day I do not know his real name. <laughs> the reason why his nickname was Biz is because he was in the business of selling drugs. <laughs> he was our local drug dealer, and everybody loved Biz, and Biz loved me. And I don't know why drug dealers love me. I think it's because they see me as like a pet. <laughs> They're just like, look at him, he doesn't get it. And so Biz sits down and he starts taking shot for shot with my grandma. And at one point he looks over at my grandma and goes, dang, you pretty cool, old lady. She downs the shot and goes, thanks, been here a minute. <laughs> Which is the most hardcore response from my grandma <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> and he goes, dang, you're cool. And he just slips her free drugs. He gave her both weed and molly. <laughs> yeah, guys, just to put this into perspective, on my 21st birthday, I got zero drugs. <laughs> but my grandma had more street cred than me. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you is I was outplayed by a woman named Eileen.